one. Uh, this is my DYT 4000. Well, it was. Uh, I had this one uh, last year. And me and Jeremy uh, from up there in New Bern uh, went, full, or went through some mud with it. It did really well until I blew the motor out. It had the uh, ABS system and I had taken the governor off so I could run it wide open. Well, it blew the motor right up in it. Uh, but the transmission is holding. It's a Spicer six speed. I welded it up, got it as straight as I could. Uh, so what I did here, so I had something around the house, is I threw this Tecumseh on it. That's a 22 horse V twin. Uh, I obviously have some work to do. It's been a quick job right now because I needed it. I had a bunch of trees down around the house. I had to cut them up. I had three of them down. Uh, I had fence blown down, so I had to haul dirt with it. I had to skid the trees out with it. So I am surprised at how well this spicer is holding up. I really am. Uh, this isn't going to get be a real fancy build. It's going to get some lawnmower tires or some ATV tires on the back. I'll probably put some Heim joints or some AV, a, ATV tie rod ends on the front just to steering a little bit. This is going to be more of a a work around the house vehicle, so I don't want it super loud all the time. It's not too loud now. I'll start it up. It's not running real well with that one carb, but. She's a little cold blooded. That's it. Uh, I got uh, one of the linkage. There's a little piece of plastic that holds the double carburetor linkage together. Uh, one of them are missing, so one of my carbs are not actuating properly. I got that ordered, and that'll be fixed this week, and she'll be running tip top. But like I said, it's not going to be a crazy build. It's going to make it utilitarian for around the house. So, thanks, guys.